Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Space Agency, Mission 30, The Shuttle Rescue. We must quickly go into the briefing room. We have been urgently summoned. We have one objective on this mission. We must dock the shuttle to the Oxygen Garden, and we have a budget of $150 million and a max time of 60 minutes, 0 seconds. The agency's only space shuttle has been struck by a micrometeorite while on a routine scientific mission. It has been left drifting in space with no power and no fuel. Its last known Navicomp coordinates were X635, Y1915. It needs rescuing urgently. We must launch a mission to, repl to take replacement batteries and fuel to the stricken shuttle. Once you have located it, transfer the batteries and fuel to it. Then power on its electrical systems and its Navicomp. We believe that the shuttle's heat shield was also damaged by the collision. Therefore, re-entry is impossible. Fly the damaged shuttle to the space station STA and dock it with a recently installed oxygen garden module. And we have a nice little schematic up above to show us exactly where to dock the shuttle. Hopefully, the heat shield can be repaired and the, at the station and the shuttle can be returned to home in a future mission. So, to complete this mission with Gold Award, we must complete it in 35 minutes, 0 seconds or less, with no checkpoints, at a cost of $60 million or less. I think that we can do it in less, so let's begin let's go and we'll do a new rocket here and we are going to do something a little bit convoluted here we are going to start with a long march first stage and a heavy tug module then we'll come over here and put some long march solid boosters on it and then we're going to go to the medium stages and we're going to put a medium connector and a medium stage tug module on top. Yes, I know we're putting medium stages on top of small stages and that doesn't work very well, but it's fine. We can do this. So then we put a Saturn V payload fairing and we do not need a payload yet. Uh, we are going to go back to small stages and we are going to put our heavy tug module on top of that. And then the automated transfer vehicle is going to be our payload. We are going to fill it up with four batteries. And then since we don't know the exact status on the space shuttle, we're actually going to add some oxygen tanks and some carbon dioxide scrubbers. That way, uh, should it be damaged, and should we be leaking oxygen or whatever, we will have something to get the astronauts back to the space station without suffocating. That would be bad. All right, so here is our monstrosity, our Frankenstein spaceship. And we have, uh, we have a low escape rate on this one. We are only going to be making it 61% of the way, which if you remember from a previous video, I said that the cutoff is really 60%. If you, if you are at 60 or less, then you really aren't going to be able to pulse your way into the, well, out of the atmosphere. Um, so we're going to be, we're going to have to be very careful with this one on our way up. So... Let's see here. We have a total cost of $13,605,000, which is dramatically less than our overall budget of $150 million. And yeah, so I think we're ready. Um, just so you know, I'm going to launch it. And then while we're flying towards our target, I will explain why I've used the multiple different tug modules and stuffs. So let's get going. And we're going to skip ahead and try to launch it about five, three and four, a half seconds. Three, two, like and that. Booster ignition and lift then off. we want to fly. We want to do solid boosting for as close to ten seconds as possible. 
is right about like that. And then I'm going to start pulsing. And I'm going to try to start turning early. There we are. Perfect. Commence roll program. We're going to try and keep 100% in the green here because we wouldn't want to lose any speed. We can't lose any speed on this one. We need to keep it all. And we're just going to do some pulsing and we're going to try and do a little bit of uh, dolphin diving. I think I called it dolphin diving in one of the previous episodes. So let's do some of that where we kind of flick the control to the left and that, you know, kind of gets us moving in an upward direction above our angle and then we can kind of let use that to do longer pulsing and keep us at the correct angle. Ooh, we are so close to out of fuel here. Oh, but we made it. We're into space. Okay. Whew. Engine and we off. are out of fuel. We're at a slightly weird angle, but that's fine. We want to go through and separate our fairing and separate the rocket. And we want to go right when the red arrow reaches the right facing arrow on our main thruster and if you were actually doing this mission you would use your coordinates on the navi computer here to kind of align yourself and to figure out where you're going but i know really roughly where i'm going a quick easy way to figure like to uh to align yourself is to take and speed up or arrange your uh trajectory so that the red your trajectory line red is right on the point of the left facing arrow of your main thrusters okay so that's where you want it to be we're going to line ourselves up straight and we are going to accelerate until we've used roughly two, roughly one third of our main engine fuel or just above the uh, ads target line and this should actually put us pretty close to where we need to go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip ourselves 180 degrees to our tra trajectory to begin readying ourselves for our slowdown process yes boom oh oh ah, you know what that's close enough Close enough, we got this. Okay, so next we're gonna go to our Navi computer and we're gonna set up the STA as our destination. That way when we are coming back, we already have it set, we can get it you know, ready and we can kind of gauge where our trajectory line needs to be. And looking at the X and Y coordinates, I think we're probably going in the right direction. So, next, what are we doing here? Next, I am going to turn the power off to my ship because this is a long flight and because I've got so many modules on top of this heavy tug module, it's actually using the power really fast. So, we've turned the We've turned the power off, we're ready to go. So, now I will explain what's going on. So, basically, you saw the Long March Solid Boosters and the Long March First Stage. That was to get us out of the atmosphere and into space. Then, we have this heavy tug module, the bottom heavy tug module. The sole purpose of this bottom heavy tug module is to fly us through space to get us um what's the correct word how can i say this to bring us to the space shuttle that is the objective of this then we will separate the first heavy tug module and the medium to medium connector then we have the second heavy uh the medium stage tug module the job of this medium stage tug module is to get us actually docked with the space shuttle and if we don't quite make it with the fuel of our first heavy tug module, uh, this can kind of provide some extra fuel for us to get to the space shuttle. Or we run out of batteries or something, you know. So, 
when we use the medium stage tug module to dock with the shuttle, that's going to break the payload fairing, at which point we use the remainder of our fuel in the medium stage tug module to just send it off some random direction because we don't want it getting in the way. We just need it out of the way because it's going to have some fuel. Since we broke the payload fairing, it's we're going to get control of it back and you know we just don't need it anymore. So what we're going to do is take the third module here, the second, the top heavy tug module, and we're going to use that to transfer a battery to the space shuttle. Then we can turn the space shuttle on, we can turn the Navi computer on, and then we can start transferring fuel into the space shuttle. And we'll use the fuel from the heavy tug module on top. Once that's done, we can undock the space shuttle from the heavy tug module, separate the tug module and the automated transfer vehicle, and then attach the transfer vehicle to the space shuttle once again. And then we have a second vehicle full of fuel to help us get back to the station. And we'll do some interesting things when we're speeding up the uh, shuttle to kind of, you know, make it do its thing. But you'll see that in a little bit. So, let's turn the power back on here. We need to turn the Navi computer back on. And let's find out where we are here. Ah, so we're doing great. We are at 430 by about 950. So let's go back here and check our briefing. We are aiming for 635X 1915Y. So we are, we're, you know, two, two thirds of the way there, give or take. I think it's probably. Two thirds is probably a good estimate. We're about 900 off by about 200 off. And we'll just keep an eye out because we're pretty close to the shuttle right now. And the last thing we want to do is crash into the shuttle after our very tricky launch. That would, that would kind of make things not so good. That would probably make me yell and scream. And that, that would not be fun. But. That's fine. We're not going to. We're good. <laughs> uh, so we have about 100 left in the X by about 500 left in the Y. So we've got about a minute. So let's zoom out here all the way. We can go back into our coordinates and just kind of stare blankly into the display. <laughs> Because what else do you do when you're flying through space? Just kind of stare blankly at the instruments and hope you don't run into something. Yeah. Now there's got to be more skill involved than that. But it's fine. We got this. We are just about there for the X dimension. And we are about 200 off for the Y. So, let's start looking for the shuttle here. Let's start peeking down and see... Ooh, there's the shuttle. We are right there. So let's start slowing down because we do not want to hit it. Okay, we're at a reasonable speed. Where is the shuttle? Approaching now? engine. Oh no! Ooh, I hit the wrong button. There we are. Okay, keep slowing down. So we're almost out of fuel. That's fine. That's great. We're gonna separate our Stage module set. right now separate the connector and we're actually going to spin around because we're going to try and catch the shuttle um, right here. All right, so we need to get over. Ooh, this is going to be close. Kind of rotate, get over there to be a little bit faster. Oh! Thruster propellant low. Oop, 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 oop. Oh no, I am not doing it. Go, go, go. Oh no, I can't botch this. There we are. 
firing. Perfect. So. And that's going to... Oh! Oh, that is so perfect. It just, it just bumps, and it's out of the way. And we are just going to kind of send it off in this direction right here. There we are. We are just... <laughs> that was completely perfect. That was almost, almost bad. All right, so take the heavy tug module's battery and then we go over to the shuttle Flight batteries low and why can't i turn the shuttle on did i oh, i never actually put the battery into the shuttle uh, come on you can do it there we go okay so now i put the battery into the shuttle turn the shuttle on turn the fuel on start taking the fuel out of the heavy tug module and while we're doing that, we will turn the Navi computer on. It's booting up, getting ready to go. Uh, then Navi we can come back on. here. And we can stop this movement and stop the rotation. All right, that's perfect. So check on the fuel. The fuel is all done. We've stolen all the fuel out of the shuttle. So now we want to go back here and we want to use, this is very important, separate the shuttle from the automated transfer vehicle not the other way around because if you separate the transfer vehicle from the shuttle it crashes the game it's done it every single time i have tried it all right so now Payload we can released. use our boosters to get the automated transfer vehicle back to the shuttle perfect and just like this epic so now we will turn the turn the Docking uh successful power connect the power and then we can grab the shuttle and we can rotate the shuttle we want to be aiming our trajectory really really roughly at the corner where this menu and the top meet so like right there like right here where our trajectory currently is that's the target that's where we want to be pointing so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of use our thrusters and we're going to rotate to the right and then once we pass our trajectory line we hit our boosters and that's going to allow us to keep boosting just like this and we'll do it again so once we pass the trajectory line hit the boosters there we go, and because we have the automated transfer vehicle hanging off the left side, that's kind of gonna, you know, do its thing and start the space shuttle spinning. But that's okay. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Slow this down, and we will do one last boost. So from about here. And actually, I want to boost only from the left side of the trajectory line because I don't want us to be going upwards that much anymore. There Engine we are. That's off. probably fine for right now. Let's st go back to our fuel, turn our fuel on, go back to the shuttle, and we will get the shuttle filling up on propellants again. Okay, so... Our next obstacle is going to be the sun. The sun is a great big planet in the middle of our uh, destination. So what we're going to run into is we're going to have to watch out for its gravity. Because if we get anywhere near the sun, it is going to end this mission. We're just going to get sucked in and it's going to destroy us and then I'll have to start over again and again that would be bad I there would probably be some yelling and screaming involved <laughs> uh, I know I said that mission number 29 is the hardest in the game because you've got to do lots of minute movement with four different rockets at once but I might be mistaken this might be the hardest mission in the game all right, so we are going to adjust our trajectory to way, way off from the sun. We're gonna go like right here. And hopefully this will be enough to avoid the sun. <laughs> 
If it isn't, we can do some last minute adjustments, but I'm, I'm hoping that where we're like 10 degrees off from the sun, it will be enough. It should be enough. We'll see. Another thing to keep in mind is we're actually going at a pretty high speed. So any more boosting that we do with uh, the shuttle, we want to make sure that we do the burst boosting in reverse so we don't speed ourselves up anymore. Because if we do, we're probably going to end up running out of fuel before we... Uh, make it to the portion where we have to slow ourselves down. And if that happened, then I don't know what we do. Okay, so there goes the sun. We are, we are passing the sun. What angle do we need to be at for station? I'm going to adjust ourselves. I'm gonna slow us down and I'm gonna put ourselves over this way some. And I'm gonna turn 180 degrees. And while we are at it, let's refill our fuel here. Let's see how much is left. Okay, so we still have a little bit for both the thrusters, the main thrusters, and the secondary thrusters. And that is actually roughly the angle I want to be at, I think, for the station. There's really no scientific way that I can figure out to check this. Unless, of course, you've got a straight edge laying around on your desk somewhere. Which, I do not. Because I guess you could line a straight edge up and use the straight edge and kind of use the trajectory line and do that. But, yeah, no. I can't do that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow myself down some more. And... Like this. Send myself in a that were... That way wordly way. Yes, it is a word. I think. <laughs> okay, so we have got virtually all the fuel out of this automated transfer vehicle. So I am going to close the fuel valve and check my pressure and everything and we are going to get rid of the automated transfer vehicle and I'm going to use the last bit of its fuel to send it away from me. Okay, and we can line up on the station now. Perfectly. Just like... that's actually probably close enough. And then we'll rotate 180 degrees from our trajectory. What's this thing doing? <laughs> Let's send it on a collision course with home. <laughs> because we can. <laughs> okay. So, now we just need to wait a second again, because we are five... Si oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong marker. We are 650 units away from the station. So, based on our earlier stuffs, I would say it's going to take us like a minute and a half or so to get to the place. And I would say that's going to mean we will complete this mission in approximately 22 minutes, which is drastically cheaper, well, drastically cheaper, as well as drastically faster than the required 35 minutes. So we're doing good. We just need to just need to hold ourselves together for a little bit longer. Little teeny tiny bit longer. <laughs> oh boy. You guys have no idea how many times I've tried to record this mission. I don't know why it's taken so long. Well, actually I do because this one was kind of a tough launch and I kept crashing. And then the game kept crashing. Yeah. But I got it this time. We're doing good. There's home. We're going by home. 200 meters. Alright, and we are about 
150 meters away from the station, so let's kind of peek. Ooh, and we're, we're going to pass by the station, which means we're in no immediate danger of running into it. So let's kind of slow ourselves down just a little bit more. We'll just kind of peek. We're going to be like at the perfect location. We're almost at the perfect angle. Oh boy. Now we just need to spring ourselves to almost a stop. Right about there. That's probably good. And we'll rotate ourselves 180 degrees. So we are ready to... Ready to... Um, dock with the station... Boom, just like this. Start moving ourselves over to the left, and we can slow down. We're not at quite the right angle, but that's okay. Stop right about here. That. Oh, that was weird. I don't know why I just heard the game music. Huh. Either way, we are docked. We are completed. The mission is done. Docking we have got successful. a gold award, and mission the time complete. is 20 minutes 53 seconds at a cost of 13.6 million dollars. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira. This is the Nocturnal Gaming Network bringing you Space Agency. Have a wonderful night.